Bernie Sanders, our old friend. Senator, we only have a few minutes here before we have to go, but you've been a politician for 40 years and an activist for, for much, you know, much further back than that. What do you make of the state of these two, two political parties right now? I know there are other political movements. Perhaps Should you're I tell one you of them. tell you what nobody else will tell you? I hope so. Why not? It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Who's listening? Anyhow. <laughs> but, uh, look. <laughs> Here's what we got. Um, there was once a time when the Democratic Party was the party of the working class. Those days are long gone. The Republican Party was the party of the rich and the bankers, and now they claim suddenly to be the party of workers, and that's certainly not true. And I think the result of that is people are demoralized. You know, Stephen, 60% of our people live in paycheck to paycheck. People can't afford health care, can't afford to send their kids to college, can't afford housing. People are hurting, and they're looking to Washington and not getting much in response. So I think what we have got to do is we need what I call a nonviolent political revolution. And that is that we must get big money and billionaires out of the political process. People on top have never, ever done as well in the history of America. You know, three people or more wealth in the bottom half of American society. That is obscene. That is unacceptable. And our job right now, I think, is to defeat Trump if Biden, if Biden stays in, but reelecting Biden and Democrats is not enough. We need to transform the Democratic Party to force those doors open so that ordinary people, young people, people of color, working class people can come in and drive an agenda that says we're not going to be the only major country on earth not to have health care for all people. We're not going to have more income and wealth and equality than any time in our history. You know, we're not going to have college unaffordable, housing unaffordable. This creating a government and a nation that works for all, that's not utopian. It really is not. We are the richest country in the history of the world. We have all kinds of technology that can improve human life. And our job is to make government work for everybody and not just the billionaire class. That ain't easy stuff. But you know, over the last many decades, Stephen, we should be proud as a nation. We have come a long way in erasing bigotry for our African-American brothers and sisters. We've come a long way in fighting sexism, in fighting homophobia. Now our job is the economic struggle and to tell the billionaire class and their greed they can no longer think they're going to get it all. This country belongs to all of us. The Senator, thank you so much for being here again. Hey, you're doing I'll a great see, job. I'll see you in Chicago. Yeah. I'll sure. see you in Chicago. Okay, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Senator Bernie Sanders, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by One Republic. Stick around. <laughs>